I'm going to demonstrate how to roast coffee beans, green coffee beans, with a popcorn popper, which is right there. Okay, here's the green coffee beans. I'm going to measure them out. them into the popcorn popper. Okay, now this is not the best type of popcorn popper to use for this type of thing because it's a hot air popper. Um, it's the type that the hot air shoots up right out of the bottom and unless I we have some way to restrain the beans from uh, flying out, they will fly out of the, the, uh, the end. So I use this piece of mesh that I cut out of a, um, a uh, colander to serve the purpose. Okay, now I'm going to set the timer for four minutes because that's, uh, that's the, uh, the roast that I like. About four, four minutes with this popper. So, okay. Start. And then, whoops. Start. And you can see the, uh, see the beans uh, popping up. You can see in the sink the chaff from a previous roast. This is a lot of chaff. The chaff is the uh, skin on the outside of the bean. The bean, when it's roasting, uh, expands and the chaff gets slopped off. Soon you'll start to see the beans changing color. They'll go from a, a green to a to a light brown and then to a darker brown. Pretty soon you're going to hear first, uh, first crack, which is uh, the, um, the beans start to um, start to pop a little bit. You can hear it a little bit, but it will be louder. They start to pop. There, there's there's one. They'll all pop now. That was first crack. Uh, if I wanted a real dac roast. There's also something called second crack, which is, it 
it goes another minute longer than, than, than what I'm going to go. I, li I like a more medium roast. So, uh, you won't hear the second crack. I don't want to uh, get the chaff in the beans. Okay. And now, if I can do this with one hand, I'm going to pour that into a pan so the beans can cool off. It's important to uh, cool the, bo the beans down fairly quickly. And uh, some people use a colander for it. I found that the, that the pan works better because you get uh, better uh, uh, temperature conduction in the metal, I think. But it, it takes about a minute, and then they're a little bit warmer than room temperature. Then I'll put it in a, uh, a mason jar. good if you're uh, kind of person who wants good coffee without spending a lot of money because the green beans cost about half what roasted beans cost so that 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 this pound of uh, green coffee it doesn't look like much because the green beans don't take up as much room but it's if all these beans were roasted you'd you'd have a a, a, a package about that big and uh, but these cost five five bucks instead of well instead of 850 and uh, they're very good the Ni Nicaraguan beans high quality and it makes a really really good cup of coffee yeah, that's good enough now uh, it's gonna kind of be hard to uh, pour them in a mason jar but uh, this is what I'm going to end up putting them in. Here's uh, the last roast that, that I did. These came, it looks like they came out a little bit lighter than, than this one. Yeah. Anyway, so so that's that's the product. Pretty, it's fairly even. I don't know if you do, but they have commercial uh, roasters bean roasters and I don't know if you get a more even roast but this is this is pretty pretty even and, the, and this uh, popcorn popper cost me $18 at Walmart the kind if if you look inside here it's got a grid uh, like a metal mesh at the bottom air comes right up out of there and blows the uh, the uh, the beans or, or the popcorn uh, there's another type that has a cylinder, a metal cylinder that actually spins and the air comes in on vents on the side of the cylinder and that works better for roasting coffee because it doesn't blow the beans out but uh, this works pretty pretty well for, for my purposes uh, and uh, that's about it. So uh, 
sit down and have a cup of coffee and enjoy.